We rely on satellite-based technologies for navigation, for emergency communication. It's very important to be able to safely operate in the geo belt. They're expecting there to be 100 million objects of one millimeter or larger in space. A piece of debris that's one millimeter can actually still end a mission. Before we can remove it, first we have to find it. But the ordinary techniques for detecting debris are optical or radar and the small debris doesn't present a large enough target to see. We really need to change how we're looking at the problem and revolutionize how we are going about detecting and tracking debris. IARCA's Centra program will detect, track, and characterize space debris as small as one millimeter in size in any orbital plane about the Earth. At IARCA, we invest in high-risk, high-payoff research. So we're looking five to 10 years out to realize um, what the needs may be to maintain safer operations in space because debris affects all space missions. The Centra program started in June of 2023. It will be a four-year program. We're currently one year into the program and seeing some very promising results. First two years of the program, we are developing novel, innovative ways to detect and track space debris. Our four leading research teams are looking at both ground and space-based sensors to include optical sensors, radar sensors, and plasma sensors, understanding how we can develop new innovative methods to detect these very dim objects in the data. Maybe we're detecting them already, but we just don't understand that signature. It will take a holistic system to maintain an understanding of what the debris population looks like and evolves over time. I represent the West Virginia University team, and our goal is to not only detect space debris, but also be able to track it, categorize it, develop algorithms that allow us to predict where it will be in the future. The, the method we're very excited about uh, involves working with this facility here at the Naval Research Lab to look for plasma perturbations, something called a soliton, which is a, a nonlinear phenomena. The goal is to be able to see if space debris creates those structures, and then if we can detect them using in situ detectors or perhaps radar. We at SRR represent a multidisciplinary set of experts in radar, in computing, in tracking. The biggest problem actually is data management. Huh? It is a huge number of data, and so we have a filtering techniques in our uh, tracking algorithm. We take data from all sorts of sources. One is the incoherent scattering radar, so ground-based radars. We're also looking now into a bi-static, which is ground to space, and lastly is optical. I'm part of Team Blue Halo. When debris collide with each other, it's like a miniature explosion, and that produces uh, emission in the radio wave, in the uh, visible wave, in the thermal infrared wave. And those are the signals that we uh, proposed to measure. What we plan to do is to point uh, antenna, the Deep Space Network, to the Moon, and then we can measure those impact on the Moon, and then at the same time searching for evidence of debris colliding with each other around the Earth. I'm working with the Advanced Space Group. For 100 million objects, uh, you're not going to be able to process all of that data with a, a human in the loop, so you're going to have to do it autonomously. And so what we're doing is we're using machine learning to you know, both uh, decrease the amount of SNR that's required to be able to observe these objects, but then to also track all of the different orbit regimes that are required and the diversity of the objects that really that we're trying to track there. We are looking at an, a satellite called ARASE and using its EM sensor data to actually try to find object wakes Along with our four performing teams, we have four testing and evaluation partners. Those include MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Los Alamos National Laboratory, the Naval Research Laboratory, and Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. We represent the Naval Research Laboratory, and we're supporting the IARPA Cintra program by providing uh, theoretical and experimental support. Specifically, my group is providing a plasma uh, test environment where we can recreate the space plasma conditions with realistic orbital uh, debris flow velocities and look at the effects and test their detection techniques. Here we're using the Space Plasma Simulation Chamber, the SPSC, and the combination of the facility and, and our experimental uh, apparatus has allowed us to make fairly rapid progress in making these measurements and detections. 
all of us need to have a lot more data in order to be able to understand what the environment is. Every time we bring up, what do you think about this? Have you looked here? We immediately get connections with the various entities providing data. Everything that we need that uh, can improve our capability, we can get from Sintra. We are wrapping up the first phase of our program to develop novel innovative techniques to detect and track space debris. The second phase of our program will be a hard problem in itself with regard to how we can persistently monitor the debris population. It will be computationally intensive and the teams will have to think outside of the box. At the end of this program, we hope to pass the baton to our other government stakeholders who will be launching debris removal efforts. It's going to take a worldwide effort to solve this debris problem. Through engaging with our international community, we can start to mitigate the risk caused by debris to the resources that we rely on the most day to day.